Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and today we're getting a look at the Best Tech Starfighter. Alright guys, the Best Tech Starfighter, what are we getting here? Well first off, get a good look at that thing. Look how beautiful the anodizing is done on it. That is just amazing. Uh, Best Tech has got some guys that know how to do the anodizing. It is Most of their knives are just beautiful with the way they've done the anodizing on them. So let's get a look at the knife itself. First up, we have a closed length of 4.95 inches. We have a handle thickness of 0.53 and a total height of 1.2, just under 1.2. Very nicely done there. And getting a close look, we've got this track down through here. It's got some ribbing in it. I'm going to call it jimping later. We've got this right here. It's nice and smooth and anodized blue. And our gold green anodization across here is on more of a matte finish. Uh, and a little more of the blue here. We've got a pivot collar. Big, plain stainless. One end of the pivot. And as we roll it up to the top, we've got some jimping up our thumb ramp. This one is production number First production number one of 100. Why I keep getting these super low numbers, they really shouldn't waste them on me because I'm actually going to use the knives. Uh, in fact, if somebody out there wants production number one and you've got one of these knives, let me know and uh, we can figure something out. Or if you want production number one, you need to uh, get me enough money that I can replace the knife at the very least. Anyhow... Looking down the other side of it, we are really, really pretty. Now looking across the back, we've got indexing points right here. We've got a nice titanium backspacer. We do have this here, and that's kind of neat, but to me it looks like something where it's going to be hard to get the cord through. If somebody out there knows how to get paracord through something like that, uh, put it down in the comments because what I would do is take the dang knife apart, put the cord through it, and put it back together. And there's got to be a way that you don't have to take the knife apart that's not terribly hard. Anyhow, we got a tip-up right-hand only pocket clip, of course. Uh, however, from what I hear from Best Tech, uh, from LTK's interview, uh, they're aware of that, and they may be doing more knives that have tip-up left and right hand. We do have that pivot that's still free-spinning and has, you know, the kind of funny concave slot in it. Seems to open up okay. Seems to not spin whenever you're trying to open it or, or unscrew it or screw it back in. But still kind of annoying that it's free spinning. No jimping on the flipper tab. And it could use a little bit, but it's not bad the way it is. And there again, that beautiful anodizing. And these guys just do such a great job. Let's get the blade out here and let's do some comparison. And we're going to compare this guy to some knives. First, we'll do our standards we'll do our buck 110 and we've got a rat model one and it's fairly comparable in size weighs a little less this uh best tech weighs in at 4.29 ounces so weighs a little less than both of them and uh then we'll get our smaller knives out our rat model two and our delica so bigger than both of those of course and then I want to do a quick comparison to a couple of knives that uh, I think are in the same carry class. We'll talk about that a little bit later with more specifics. That pocket sword is a bit big there, but <coughs> very, very much, in my opinion, in the same class of carry. The ZT-0452, the uh, Best Tech Starfighter, and the Wii 702. Uh, all of them slim, small in the pocket for large knives. And from there, we'll get a look at the blade on this Starfighter. And what we have is a piece of S35VN. Very nicely done. If I can get the light on that where we can see it. And that stone wash that they do rivals Wii's stone wash. A nice tight stone wash that I like on a satin blade or on an unfinished blade. And they are doing some wee -ish stuff here. We've got kind of a hand rub finish up here. So they're, uh, I don't know if you'd say they're copying wee or they're just doing things the way they want to do them, but they are doing things as 
getting close to as well as we is doing. We've got a swedge up here and best tech knives right there. S35VN right there and then Starfighter in nice big letters for you to read uh, without your glasses. That could be smaller or somewhere else on the knife. Uh, that would be nice, but uh, I kind of like the knife anyhow, so I'm not going to fuss too much about it. And we've got a pretty thin grind on this guy. Now, it's not super, super thin, but it's pretty thin. And uh, definitely, for the class of knife it is, it's plenty thin enough. And we have indexing points right there. I may have missed those earlier. Very, very nice. And from here, we'll go to our pause and read card, and I'll be right back with you. All right, mechanically, this thing is your standard modern uh, titanium frame lock flipper. Uh, we've got hardened steel lock bar insert with an over-travel stop. We've got uh, ceramic ball bearings with hardened stainless steel bearings back, or hardened stainless steel bushings backing them up. Uh, all of your standard stuff were perfectly centered. We flip like a freaking dream. And guys, I mean, seriously, I, I've got the camera pointed straight down at this, so I'm only got so much room. I think I've got like eight inches, nine inches here below the camera. So I don't have a lot of room to work with this, but that is just amazing to me. This is one of those knives, whenever you let that lock loose, you did, I didn't mean to do that. But I showed you exactly what I was gonna say. You gotta be careful and not guillotine yourself with this guy. Uh, the action is just pretty freaking amazing. I love that they put those indexing points there for you to let your thumb land or your index finger land in. Everything on this knife is just done super well as far as mechanics. Uh, and that's just a best tech thing. Every one of them I've dealt with, taking apart and all that other stuff, it's just beautiful. Now, let's go to ergonomics. Ah, okay. I'll put it in the pocket first. Then we can go to ergonomics because I know half of you want to skip out after it goes in the pocket. Don't lie to me either. I see that in the freaking metrics. All the numbers that Google gives me or YouTube gives me. There you go. There it is in the pocket. And it fits down in the pocket rather well. The pocket clip is nice. I've had the pocket clip in several different kinds of pants. Everything I've had it in, it's worked fine. Have not had it in like the Riggs Workwear with the leather thing over the top. So I don't know about that. But uh, the various styles of Carhartt, I've had it in those. Works fine. And it's got this little pointy thing up here. Now, our lanyard spot is exposed. Anyhow, back to the pointy thing. Now, this is the pointy thing is why I don't carry a Tashi Brucia Future, why I don't own a Starboy. Even though they're beautiful knives, whenever you go to carry them, they got this funky pointy thing sticking out, causes problems. This one did not tend to cause a problem because I've, I've carried the knife quite a bit because I kind of like it and no real problems. Now, before we get into ergonomics, we forgot to stick the uh, screwdriver in here. So here we go. There's our Weeha screw. Pretty darn good for stainless screws. And let's get one more. We'll get that one. Only complaints I have is they're T6, and I'd rather see them T8. And they are stainless. And stainless isn't a bad thing. We'll back that camera back out. Uh, but whenever you look around and you see that Hinderer Designs, uh, Riot, and we are making stainless and titanium screws that are super tight, super well done, you can't get an A on screws if you're not matching them. So Best Tech gets a B. I'd love to give them an A because they are doing a good job with off-the-shelf screws, but... You just can't compete with those other guys unless you're doing what they're doing or you're spending more money on your screws than you want to. But anyhow, still very good screws. Now, before we get... Well, let's do the ergonomics. The ergonomics, we got one, one more gripe we got to get into, a couple of them. The ergonomics are really, really good. Lay my hand across the knife. 
everything works well. That isn't too pointy right there, so bigger and larger hands shouldn't have a problem. Uh, your various grips, your pinch grips are fine, your push cuts, your pull cuts, your reverse grip if you need it, everything's fine, and it's just a beautiful thing. Now, uh, flipping the knife, I haven't had any problems flipping the knife where you get your hands on, or fingers on the lock bar or anything. Pocket clip's in a good spot, keeps you off that lock bar. However, two things, we'll go with the blade one first. See how well they did that edge termination? I should have talked about that whenever we talked about the blade, but it's really well done. But they've given us this choil here that's not big enough to be really a forward finger choil. But it's really bigger than it needs to be to be a uh, just a sharpening choil. You know, I'm not complaining about it really, just pointing it out. They could have taken just a wee bit of the blade away, you know, two or three more tenths, and we'd have had a pretty good forward finger toil, and I like to get a forward finger toil on this size of knife. But they didn't, so just something to point out. The other little caveat is right back here. If you put your thumb or finger right down in there, you can almost touch that blade. In fact, I can right here where these are, where these uh, indexing points are, I can feel the end of the blade. Now, I have not been able to cut myself, and I just said I hadn't, and there I go. I cut myself just a little bit running it down through here. But I have not cut myself in general use without trying to cut myself like I did right there. So I don't think it's a big issue, and I have carried this knife quite a bit However, it is something to take into consideration if you're looking at these knives because that is uh, an issue. Is it as big an issue as some people are making it out to be? Uh, uh, close. I think if you use the knife the way it was intended, you're not going to be doing that. You're not going to be running your finger back there. However, as the knife maker... As the knife designer, you could run that edge. If see, if this is this whole deal. Same thing with Leong Ma designs. If you had run this shirt or this choil out and made it a forward finger choil, a few more tenths. I mean, it wouldn't have taken much. If you had ran it just to there, just to right there, you would have had a forward finger choil and you would have eliminated this problem back here. You know, and who knows, maybe I'll do that with this knife. Just extend that choil out a little bit. I know some of you hate that stuff, but you know, sometimes whenever you got a bloody finger, it's important to do it. Now you got blood on the side of the knife. We'll have to clean that up. My goodness, can't have that. Oh, that's just wonderful. Anyhow, I'll have to work on that later. Probably gonna have to scrub that guy up now. But, irregardless of that, what I was going to talk about was how this guy carries. This guy carries like these two knives that I showed you earlier. It is a big knife, don't get me wrong. It is a big knife that carries small in the pocket. That's why I rather love the 0452 and why I really, really love the zero or the uh, 702 from Wii. And this knife falls right in there with it, but it weighs less. Weighing in at that 4.29 ounces, it weighs less than both of them. It does have a little less blade than both of them, but it carries in that same manner where it's not in your way in the pocket, yet you've still got a big knife on you. And I really appreciate that. That's why I carry this guy and this guy quite a lot. And that's why that this knife will be getting quite a bit of carry too. Uh, now that I have cut myself, I'll probably be fixing that uh, area right there. Extending it out a bit. Because I don't want to cut myself again. And you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.